everyone and welcome to another edition of Marketing is Not Selling. I am so excited to be here with you today. Um, I do this thing once a week where Fritz and I get to basically take a day off in the middle of the week and we call it Wandering Wednesdays. And the whole purpose of Wandering Wednesdays is to allow us to get to know our surrounding neighborhood and towns and, you know, just get a better idea of, you know, the landscape around and just to go have some fun. Kind of gives us a little bit of a break midweek. And basically what we do is we just pick a direction and go. And it's just a lot of fun and we absolutely love to do it. Usually we do it on Wednesdays, but sometimes we do it on Thursdays. So we call it traveling Thursdays or finding Fridays, you know, but we make sure that we try to go in the middle of the week when a lot of the businesses are open so that we can actually go in, browse, have some fun, you know, that kind of a thing. Um, generally, if you try to do it on the weekends, they're either going to be closed or they're going to be super, super, super busy or, you know, in a small town like we, like we live in now, Monticello, instead of the Tampa Bay area. Things have a tendency to be closed on Sundays, so there's not much to do. So Sundays for us is a pretty good work day or work around the house kind of a day. So we take a day in the middle of the week kind of as our Sunday relaxation type of day. And you never know what we're going to find when we go on these little, you know, wandering Wednesdays. And it is so much fun because we get to meet all sorts of new people, you know, get to meet all sorts of different small business owners. Um, go look at plants and museums and just we really get to have a lot of fun and it's it's definitely something that I would recommend to anyone doing in the middle of the week especially if you're starting to get a little overwhelmed or burnt out take a little bit of time it doesn't have to be all day sometimes our trips run all day sometimes they're just for an hour or two you know depending on what it is that we want to do but one of the things that I love is to seek out new business owners and to find little shops, you know, just to be able to go see what it is that they're doing. And we came across one um, today, actually, it was a Wandering Wednesday. We just got back a little while ago. And I absolutely love this little shop. We went up to this place called Boston, Georgia, which is only about 20 minutes away from where we are currently in Monticello. And I love small businesses, especially those that have, you know, 20 or less employees. And this is a little shop that's, you know, in conjunction you know right next door to a couple of other little antique and repurposed type shops and whatnot and it's a chocolate shop okay seriously that's like really exciting real artisan chocolates that are just absolutely to die for so of course naturally i had to pick up a 12 pack to bring home with us right so basically this is the bag and i'm just gonna push that up here so sweet cacao chocolates out of boston georgia and one of the reasons why i wanted to showcase this today as a part of our Wandering Wednesday is because of the way she did her branding. I mean, she was right there, customer service, you know, super friendly, talking to us, not pushing us whatsoever. Um, we tried two of the chocolates before I ended up buying a 12 pack uh, just because I wanted to see what they tasted like if they were worth it. Really good chocolates, by the way, if you ever go through there, I seriously suggest that you stop and do it. And they're not super expensive. But what I really like to see is, you know, here's a perfect example of a small business owner who is doing things with her branding that isn't going to break the bank. So today's post is both about marketing and accounting. Okay, so this is going to be kind of exciting. A lot of times when business owners are getting started, you know, especially, you know, small retail shops, they think, oh, well, you know, I have to have, you know, custom personalized bags. Well, those custom personalized bags could easily run you, you know, three to four dollars a piece if you had them, you know, specialty colors with your name imprinted or embossed on it, you know, or foil imprint or something like that. And in this particular case, she just bought a bunch of regular white plain bags that are still very well made. They probably cost her anywhere between 50 and 70 cents a piece. They're, they are very well made. And then she spent anywhere from 20 to 30 dollars on a stamp, a reusable rubber stamp, okay? Something so simple, and she puts her name on both sides. And it's not a little teeny tiny stamp. She obviously paid a little bit more for it, so it's a, it's a larger stamp, probably somewhere around a three by three, uh, or maybe even a three by four. And as you can see, it's just real simple, you know? But it fits in with her branding, which is so incredibly important. So. Um, she's got the same design with the same logo and everything throughout her shop, on the outside of the shop, on her business cards. Everything is consistent. 
slightly different colors here and there, but that's okay. I mean, you can easily dress up a plain paper bag with different color inks, you know? So instead of having to spend, you know, two to $4 a bag or three to $4 a bag, you know, just for the bags that most people aren't even going to appreciate, here she is spending, you know, 50 cents on a bag and, you know, $20 on a rubber stamp that she's gonna get thousands of impressions out of. So, you know, for if you're trying to bootstrap but make your business more consistent with its branding, something like this can go all the way. The next thing that she does, this is her 12 pack of chocolates, okay? It's a basic black box, okay? There's nothing special about this box, none, nothing whatsoever. You know what makes it special? The way that she's got her card on the front and the fact that she hand ties her business's color ribbon, okay? This is her color, it's kind of like a dark teal, okay? She uses that throughout her store. Just this, something simple. Take a black box, add a little bit of a ribbon to it, just goes right around, she just ties it, ties it right in front of you. So that all you have to do is open it up and you know there's goodness inside. And then of course, on the back side is all of their contact information. And then on the inside, these chocolates, by the way, are absolutely gorgeous. They're not only on the inside, but they're wrapped. Okay, so that's something that you don't normally see even in some of the, the larger commercially produced chocolates. She also gives you a card telling you exactly how many of each one that you have in there, whatever their current flavors are that they're doing. And then you get to unwrap this. And just by doing this, I mean, here, here it is. Here's that teal color again. It's a lighter teal than, than the ribbon that she uses, but she uses both colors throughout her store, throughout her branding. But knowing that you're unwrapping this, it just kind of gives you this sense of excitement. And I mean, this stuff probably costs her, what? A dollar for a few sheets and she can just chop it up to fit the boxes properly. It's something this simple that makes all the difference in the world because by unwrapping this and seeing these gorgeous chocolates, and I mean, I don't, uh, I can't tilt these enough, but look at these chocolates. They're all handmade, they're all hand painted. And let me tell you something, they are absolutely delicious. They're some of the best chocolate I've tasted in, the, in my entire life. And believe me, I'm a chocoholic, okay? Chocolate anything is, you know, my deal because <laughs> chocolate understands, so. But to be able to simply open this up you, it makes you feel special, okay? Now, the box probably cost her another 50 cents. The insert to hold the chocolates, yeah, five cents, give or take. You know, then you've got your, your liner, you've got a little bit of card stock. You know, this whole package to make somebody feel super, super, super special probably cost her maybe $2, including the bag and the, you know, the stamp and everything else that's, that's involved. But the way that it makes you feel as you open it up and you see these absolutely gorgeous chocolates just makes you feel like you're on top of the world. It's a part of the experience. So not only is she keeping her branding consistent through the use of her colors, her logo, okay? I mean, this is just, this is just basic cardstock and it was printed on, looks like an inkjet printer, okay? Nothing fancy. She didn't have, you know, a 20,000 piece run from a professional printer. It doesn't have to cost a lot. Honestly, this whole setup probably cost two, maybe $2.50. But I mean, the way that it makes you feel is worth a million dollars. I'll definitely be returning to the store. The combination of the quality plus the branding, the way it makes you feel, the experience that you get, the fact that the chocolate was not that expensive, but totally worth it in my opinion, better than Godiva, okay? And the fact that it's a small business that's fairly local. I mean, it's only 20 minutes from my house. <laughs> I'll be happy to take a 20 minute detour, you know, to go up through there just so that I can get some more of these. That right there is gold. She's already made a customer for life. And today was the very first time that I walked into her shop. First time. That's how good of an impression she made on me the first time I walked through her door. And that is how you make customers for life, okay? Doesn't have to be expensive, does not have to be super, super complicated. 
I mean, she was super nice to us. The shop was clean. It was cute looking. But more importantly, she's got a she's got a good product. She really well, okay, not just good. She's got a great product, okay? Her chocolates rock. That's all there is to it. But she's got a great product. She's got great branding. It's all consistent. It doesn't scream that this is my little side business kind of a thing. This is her business. She doesn't do this on the side. This is what she does full time. I had a wonderful conversation with her. I got to try, you know, two of the chocolates before I went ahead and bought the 12 pack. And I'm just very excited to see somebody like that who's in a, in a town that's in a, she's in a town that's even smaller than the town that I live in. I mean, Boston's even smaller than Monticello. And it's amazing to see she's able to keep it up. She's got good business going through. Is she going to make a million dollars in a year? I don't know. But the bigger question is, is she happy doing what she's doing? So... I just, I, I can I can tell that. I know she's happy doing what she's doing. I mean, who wouldn't want to get to play with chocolate all day? Good Lord. <laughs> but she's enjoying her life. She's enjoying running her business. It's not work to her. She's creating something. It's all blended together. It's all just, it's just a seamless experience. So the question and your action item for the week is to see what you can do to change one little thing just one little thing that can make your customer experience even better, okay? Maybe it's just doing nothing more than getting all of your branding together, making sure that your logos are consistent, that you are using, you know, maybe you upgrade your packaging a little bit if you're working retail, if you run services, maybe just cleaning up your invoices and, you know, sending out an extra thank you note or something along those lines. It doesn't have to be super expensive. It doesn't have to break the bank. All it has to do is to connect with your customers a little bit more so that they have that experience because that's how you win customers for life is to truly connect with them. Okay, so there's your action item. Go figure it out. Leave me comments below. I would love to hear what it is that you're doing in your businesses to upgrade not only necessarily your branding, but your customer experience. Thanks and we'll see you next time.